Do you know where you're importing from? Hey Power Director Peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love from Power Director University. Today I'm going to show you some tools to help you out when it comes to importing your footage into Power Director. And I'm going to show you how to do that in Power Director 15 Ultimate. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Cyberlink Power Director 15 Ultimate. Now, my boy Forby reached out to me on YouTube and left me a comment asking me, Hey Malik, love your videos, full of golden nuggets. Can you tell me if there's a way of defaulting the Media Room Library content to something different so I have my logos already there when I hit Create a New Project? Well, Forby, unfortunately, there's not a way to do that. The only options you get from the media room are the ones here from this drop down, which are media content, color boards, backgrounds, my projects, express projects, and download it. You can change between the things that you see up in the media room as well by clicking on these options here. You can remove what you see from the media room, things like that. But there are a few ways that you can get the content that you want sooner, okay? Quicker, more efficiently, more effectively. I can help you do that for me. Yes, I can. So let me show you a few of the things that just popped up in my head of what you can do to kind of help you out. So the first thing that I want to talk about is your import and export folders so you can choose a folder that is always selected whenever you import media and wherever you export to as well so if you go to preferences and you go down to file here you can select your import folder you can browse to whatever folder you want. So if I click on browse, I can choose that import folder from my um, folder structure or my computer, or whatever you want to call it. So I can do that. And also if I have a place where I'm usually exporting my footage to, I can select an export folder. But today we're really talking about import options. So let's stick with this one. So right now you see that I have my import folder as uh, videos, digital juice renders. So I'm going to click on OK. And if I click on the import media button and I select import media files, I go right to that digital juice renders folder. Beautiful, isn't it? So let's select a few files here. And I'm going to click on open. And it added those files to my media room. So let's just remove all of this. Let's get this out of here. So I'm going to remove all of these files. And let's say I wanted to be even more efficient. I didn't want to have to pick anything from the folder that I go to. I just want to import an entire folder every time I go to select import. And I want to go right to the place where I could just pick a folder, boom, and be in there. Well, depending on how you have your file set up, you could do that too. If I go back to preferences, And I go back to file. And I go back to the import folder option. I'm going to click on browse again. And this time, instead of picking a specific folder, I'm just going to pick 
I'm going to go back one level up to the videos section or the videos folder. And I'm going to click on OK. And now I'm going to click on OK again. And what this does for me is if I go to import media and now I select import a media folder, it's going to take me directly to my videos section. And now I can just pick the folder real quick. I can say, Hey, I want everything in that digital juice renders instead of before I had to pick file by file. Now I just want the whole folder. So I'm going to click on select folder and it will import all of those files. All right, so now all of the files from that folder have been imported into the program. Beautiful, isn't it? So let me show you the last option I was thinking about or just popped up into my head when I thought about helping out your boy Forby. The other option is to create your own library. So what you can do is if you have the files imported already that you want to use, let's say they're files from all types of different folders and you're like man this is crazy for some reason you just got all these different files but you want to keep them together for some reason and you don't want to you know pack your whole project together you just want to keep the files together then what you can do is once you have all your files imported you can go up here to library menu and click on this Then you want to select export library. And it'll put it in the default location that Cyberlink selects. You can put it somewhere else if you want to. So I'll just call it just give it a name here and then I'll click on save. So now let me just go ahead and get rid of all of this. And now if I wanted to, I could just go and import a library from here. So now I can click on the library menu, select import library. Find the library that I selected. It will be a .pdl file. And then click on open. And bam, bam, bam. Back on your screen, baby. In the media room, files are ready for your usage. You're welcome, Forby. You're welcome. All right, Power Director peeps. I want to thank you for watching this video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. Now, if you like the content in this video and you want more, make sure you click on the thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction, all right? And if you got any comments, questions, tutorial requests, leave those things in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back with you. And last but not least, if you want more Power Director love like this, every other Saturday, smash that subscribe button. When you smash the subscribe button, you'll get notifications whenever I upload content to YouTube, and that way you won't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.